Ted O'Brien joins us live now. Ted, thanks so much for your time. Uh, first of all, um, Labor not meeting their targets, um, gas prices going up. Can both of those things be true? No, you, 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 can't, uh, you can't square a circle like this. I mean, Labor and the Greens are all over the shop. They're, they're drunk with joy about having done a deal, but it's going to be the Australian people that cop the hangover of this. Right now, everybody knows two things about the energy market. One, prices are going up. Two, there's a shortage of supply in gas. This deal makes prices go up even further and constrains the supply of gas even further. But they're happy about it. Um, they think it's the greatest deal ever, but it's going to have dire consequences for mm. the Australian economy. Prices will go up, investment will go down, emissions will be sent offshore and multiply. Yeah. Um, the Australian people lose out of this and so does industry. But look, Labor and the Greens, they are absolutely delighted. Well, sure. Um, but you could have avoided this. You dealt yourself out of negotiations. We were very clear from the beginning, Laura, and I, I say it again um, with you today, this is bad public policy. Right. Business disagrees. The, 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 so how do you square well, that away? No, well, you, you might say business disagrees. Um, there are some business associations who have supported the principle. Now, a lot of those associations' members, they plan to just pass on the cost. I mean, this is a carbon tax that's recognised now. You designed um, it, they though. Are putting... It came from your side of no, politics. No, no, that's the not right. The safeguard mechanism all, all was designed done. by Greg Hunt. It's, it's, it's a cunning little trick of the Labor Party, Laura. What they've done is they've unwrapped... So what's not true about that, though? The, what they've done is they have unwrapped the safeguard mechanism of the coalition. They've reused the same wrapping paper and they've wrapped up a carbon tax. So what's different, um, what's done different is between used... this and, and what Greg Hunt proposed? Oh, a lot of things. So let's start. Um, firstly, it is putting a hard cap on emissions, which means a hard cap on how much companies can grow in the Australian economy. This is growth cutting. So if industries want to grow over the long term, they need to be looking overseas, not in Australia. Right. They okay. have a punitive tax. This is, this so is putting... Matt, price Matt Canavan carbon, was just on this program suggesting, suggesting that some of these gas companies might go to Russia instead. Really? Well, I don't know where they might go, but I, I, I tell you what, the market Are they go spoke to yesterday, Laura. The, the, hear me out. The market spoke yesterday. These resource companies on the ASX were hit immediately, mm. immediately by this. Um, so the market is speaking. This is going to have a dire con set of consequences on investment in Australia. And what was Chris Bowen's response to that? Chris Bowen, on ABC this morning, took his hands off the steering wheel and basically said, oh, that's not my business. No, we're not interested in the economic consequences of that. Sure. And this is the problem. This is the problem. They do not balance the economy with the environment. And you need to balance those two. Um, if, if you want to decarbonise the Australian economy, you can't decapitate it. You can't deindustrialise it. That's what this policy yeah. does, Laura. And the coalition won't have a bar of it because it's going to hurt the Australian people. Prices go up, investment goes down, emissions yeah. go offshore and multiply. We don't like it. You did sign up to net zero. So how are you going to get there? Great question. Because this all comes down to what is the best pathway to take Australia from today to 2050? How do we decarbonise? Labor and Greens are on the side of taxation. That is why they are celebrating the signature policy of this safeguard mechanism is a taxation regime. For the coalition, we're on the side of industry, enterprise, economics, engineering. We back technology to decarbonise. Right. Now, that's what's happening in other like economies, is that cost by the way. Free? Look at North is America. that cost-free? Is it cost-free? Yeah. You, you've got to get the balance right. You've got to get the balance right. Mm. Um, where there will be costs, we've got to make sure the economy still grows. If you, if you look at our past record, the last term, um, where the coalition was in, right, we were able to get emissions down over 20% of the 20, 2005 baseline, 20% down, but the economy was able to rise by over 40 per cent. And that's why you've got to get that balance right. Okay. If you just take this as nothing more than a cost, the Australian people get the pain. And, and that's where Labor and the Greens, they can celebrate all they like, 
but it's the Australian people and the industry that are going to hurt. And the coalition unashamedly disassociates itself from this new taxation regime because it's only going to hurt the economy, hurt Australian people, jobs, industry, especially regional communities. Ted O'Brien, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks very much for yours, Laura. Appreciate it. <laughs>